Hey there, either holder fire family, and welcome to another Nard Journey Acts. In this, we're reacting to The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 2, Episode 1. If you'd like access to the full and ended reaction, go join my Patreon. The link for it will be in the description down below. But anyway, let's get right into the video. Previously on Vox Machina. In recent weeks, Taldori has been beset by evil, wearing the faces of monsters. And yeah, yeah, talk, 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 give me the dragons. <laughs> I know the dragons are evil in this show, or most of them at least, it seems, or all of them so far. But I vow never to allow that again. Too late now. So these wise patriots shall ensure. Uh-huh. Yeah. Gods above us. <laughs> I mean, they are above you, and they're they're powerful god like gods. In a sense. Give me the, give me like badass orchestral music, like chorus and stuff, choir. Come on. The show has it, so come on. I'm waiting for it. I'm Love the music in this show when it gets to like this kind of stuff. I suddenly feel overdressed. I don't think so, buddy. Nope. Everyone's gonna go out with a smolder. Are those dragons? Are those dragons? Well, they're not birds. Yeah. Yeah, the music. You're dead. <laughs> Just grabs him by the head. <laughs> it's like, who cares about him? Sovereign. What do we do? Why are you asking me? I just stepped down. <laughs> oh, hello. Cool snake looking one. Quickly, come. Did you really just trip like one of those? Get close to me. Toxic gas? Ooh. You're real? Oh. No! <laughs> well, he's dead. So much for protecting the sovereign. Thank you. Uh, oh, acid. Oh, ew, ew. Oh, you exude acid. I like so far the different designs of the dragons. They're not just all like fire breathing. They have like different elements. Can you actually? Oh, you can actually tie him up. That is angered him. Well, y'all just failed to save both the sovereign and his wife and kids. Who are you? You're creepy. Are you something from their past? I mean, her. She was having a headache, so I wonder if she was sensing whoever that was. Oh, we get to see you, you use magic. Stay safe, sister. Siblings torn apart by Elsa, the dragon. I like the dragon designs, even though they're evil. I'm sorry, why was that guy running so, like, fruity-like? <laughs> why? Why is he going, like... <laughs> Wait a minute, I can't feel... That looked hilarious. <laughs> Of course, Gallon, you trip over it. Everybody back up. Slowly. Slowly. Are you scared? I'm not scared. Fuck all this. Time to rage. Cry. <laughs> well. Right. <laughs> I don't think so. A foot, really? Not even a hand. Got a plan. Sure do. Run! <laughs> I love all this like choir orchestral. Ugh, ew. That one's probably the worst so far. Yeah. How? Oh, you're the one we haven't seen. Ooh. 
Oh, you got a big crystal in your chest. Emperor dragon? Submit to the cinder king. Oh, oh, oh. Holy. What in the nuke? Okay, no, never mind. That's not a nuke. It's more like just a bomb. Find you. First fucking door that actually helped us. <laughs> First stepping door that actually helped us. Oh, whoa. What in the. God, bye. Oh, blue flint? Now that's freaking cool. Okay, that's this is probably one of the coolest dragons I've seen. <laughs> Reminds me of Godzilla with the blue flame. Because I know blue flame is like even hotter than red. Whoa. Well, obviously his weakness is probably gonna be that crystal in his chest. So I'm sure break that crystal and he's gonna go down. The person with the brain, just like the head splatter in the background. Cool imagery. That is cool. Man, they went out for this episode. Might be into the world. Not for us, Kenneth. Not yet. And I'm so glad you're alive too, Scanlan. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't take to the air. In fact, I would feel safest on the ground to be honest. Gilmore, there is the underground, right? Gilmore? Gilmore? Don't kill off Gilmore. Out. At least you healed my face. That's the most important part, anyway. Okay, but really? Gilmore? Second most important. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Preferably discount item. Ah, screw it. Take it all. Go. All of these. Thank you very much. I would say, really, Gilmore. This is not the time to be like. Frog, like I don't think it would even fit you, Scanlan. Hey, finders keepers. I mean, the holy water would work with her the best. A <laughs> the fabled lance of dragon slaying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So it's like, of course. You know what? <laughs> Screw me. But no offense, if this if a dragon slayer spear can get crushed that easy, I don't think it would have done anything to them. Little wicked witch broom. Teleportation? Trinket! <laughs> he lands last. Oh, why are you up? Is your broom broken? Here we go. Not that one. <laughs> sure do. Chops up dragons. It also sucks up magic. I know. Four giant dragons. <laughs> Thank you for enunciating that, <laughs> Scanlan. Their alliance could mean the destruction of Taldore. This could be the end of civilization as we know it. Yeah, because if they're, if they're going by the whole dragon thing where dragons are very uh, selfish and greedy, they don't like sharing their wealth and stuff. So I'm guessing that's what these dragons are like. So for them to work together is unheard of because usually they like having their own territories and their own, you know, gold, whatever. So they pretty much, the enemy of my enemy is my, is my friend pretty much to them because they're enemies to each other. But then those other dragons are enemies to humans and the humans are their main enemies. So it's kind of like they're all working together to take humans out. <laughs> Do you think this is revenge? No, because Brimsythe even said in that episode that he said, I'm not pretty much that, What's going on now was on its way anyway. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe they sped it up or something by killing him, but they, I think it was planned all along. So I think they were all working together already. Amon had the biggest army in Taldore until Brimsight dismantled it. This plan has long been in motion. And no offense, if an army, if the biggest army got taken out by one dragon, how would that, how would they have been able to handle, if they hadn't killed Brimsight, how would they have been able to handle five dragons? Hmm. Let me in. <gasps> oh, survivors. So many. I'm surprised they even any of them survived. Okay, hurry, you'll be safe in here. For now. Every to 
totally normal swing. Don't worry about it. A swing. Where are you I came in like a wrecking ball. No. Parents. Dead. No. <gasps> I was gonna say you're not that far. If you're seeing all the sm like smoke and ash and like fire from there, you're not far for these dragons. Oh yeah, y'all are doomed. That's not gonna do shit. This is the frosty one. Or ice one. Welp! Like I said, white stone. <laughs> like I said, really, now's not the time, Percy. Also, wasn't Gilmore in there? You need to teleport by tree, right? Yeah. He can see through it. Oh, fuck. Am I starting to get predictable? Stop. <laughs> when you use the same attack, uh, like moves, attack move set in a video game or something, it's just like, am I getting predictable? <laughs> starting to? <laughs> starting to? Come on, little legs. Run. Little legs. I mean, you're running faster than her. Ow. They're gonna pop through and they're gonna be like, what the hell? We're just like, we're recovering here. Might wanna step out of the way. Trinket. Yeah, what? Oh, now I remember in Gilmore. Oh, okay, Gilmore's with the frog. The children, the children, somebody pick them up. Nice block. Bye, tree. You've returned. Frickin' Scanlan, his butt. <laughs> The way you landed. Oh, aren't you a tough little tyke? Those uh, fiery emerald eyes. Okay. Why do I feel like that sword might have killed her? Like the vampire used the sword to kill her parents, and so she recognizes it and just yeah. I feel like, yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to go. You don't trust me. <laughs> it's stuffy. <laughs> I bet. To recruit more people to get killed? Scanlan, we have to try. Right? I was gonna say, if you don't at least try to amass like a army kind of thing, and you just kind of go, well, we'll just figure ourselves, and if you die, I mean, you're all gonna die anyway at that point. We don't have to do anything. Scanlan, are you letting your fear get the best of you? We couldn't even slow him down. Right? Pisses me off. He's just upset that his head chopper was, was destroyed. All they needed was someone to stand up and fight for them. Then Inspiration. They up too. You merely need to visualize it. Oh, okay. Um, maybe What's it look work? like? What's the tree, What's look, the tree like? look like? Yeah, I was gonna say. Big, but not too big. Pink buds. Oh, are they yellow? Her branches swaying in the breeze. A fabulous oak tree. Maybe walnut. E you're no help. We'll see. First. Last one in is a troll dick. Nothing. Last one is a troll t <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So the last one is Percy? <laughs> what if they come back to this city and everything being destroyed? <laughs> oh my god, please. Let's hope they made it. For all our sakes. Yeah, I'll say you're all screwed if you guys don't fight back against these dragons. You guys have human forms, so I'm curious. No, Morgo. Keep to the plan. Why do you sound like an, a voice actor I know? Please don't tell me this is uh, of Lance Reddick. 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 I'll just say Lance. Please don't tell me this is Lance. I love Lance, but the fact that he's gone now, that means that unless this dragon passed or dies in the show before Lance passed away, don't make me more sad. <laughs> this land and bring me its spoils. I swear to God, that's Lance. Then you shall claim it for me. Nah, that's Lance. Oh my god, that's that's freaking Lance. I, I, With pleasure. I don't fully trust the one. Like, I know they're all out to kill humans, but that green one, the acid one, I don't trust. I feel like he's gonna backstab the <laughs> fire one. All right, I'm watching it. It's gotta be Lance, right? Are they not gonna show? Also, nice ending credits for this season. Or no, no, this is a new season. So, 
Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? No, no. Where are the Where are the dragons? Cassandra Gilmore's so sovereign Uriel. He is Lance Red <laughs> Lance. No, I mean yes, because I love your voice, but no, because he's not. <laughs> Uh, please tell me they kill off the red dragon before Lance passed away because I don't want to hear a, a voice change. We already got that in freaking Destiny 2 with Lance and I. <laughs> it's just not the same. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, it's good to hear his voice again, but yeah, it's, he had such a good voice. Chirp. Chirp. Oh, I got off. Darn it. <laughs> but all right. Uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. All right, so that was the uh, first episode of season two, right? Right, I was getting that right. Yeah, okay, it is the first episode of season two. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that was really good. Holy man, I don't know if this is like an animation they're kicking up for the rest of the season, but like just the animation they did for the dragons and just the overall the shots of just like the wide angle shots of everything just looks so good. And honestly, the designs of the dragons are some of the best I've seen, I think, in any, excuse me, in any media. Uh, and I especially love my favorite, I think my favorite shot, other than them being like, um, like the one, the Thorak, whatever the one was, is that the one that's voiced by Lance, um, the fire one that was standing up at the like, top of the castle with like the other ones flying around and stuff or whatever. Like that's my second favorite shot. But my first favorite shot is literally when that, um, I think it was him too, where he was breathing the fire and then it became blue and concentrated and just the sh shooting through the whole castle and just, that was a great sequence right there. Um, so kick-ass start to the second season. Um, and I know that they've, I believe they've announced recently, like season three is coming out soon. So so I'm happy I came in with that. I'm glad I didn't get canceled or anything. Um, but yeah, overall, great episode. Uh, great plot, great characters. Animation was fantastic. Uh, music was fantastic too. I love, I, like I said during the episode, I love it when they get into the choir, like the that kind of like that kind of soundtrack, especially in this kind of setting and whatever. It just fits really well and it just makes it feel more epic and almost like a movie. Uh, so yeah, overall, everything great about this episode, but those are my thoughts for it. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep bringing bright. See ya.